Alright guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. So, today in this video we're actually going to talk about the level 5 power-ups that we got from, well, at least I got. I don't know if you guys have gotten them yet, but if you're watching this video, you're either, you already either have them or you're planning on getting them. So, before we do that, uh, the daily reset thing just happened, so let me just do a quick daily discount summon here on the already, get, this banner already gave me so much, I'm not expecting anything from this, like I get straight garbage and I'm totally fine with it, just because I've, I already had like so much good luck with this banner already, like, just give me like Bryson, I don't even care. Although I do want Bryson, so I could get the three star power ups, I think I'm just one off from maxing out Bryson, so I could just get three star power, oh, there we go, we got Cheryl as well, not Bryson, but got what we wanted <laughs> five out of five for cheryl so any new cheryls i'll get in the future will turn into three three star power-ups which speaking of power-ups let's go ahead into today's topic so uh, for those of you who don't know i guess i don't know why you would how or how you would click on this video if you don't know um the blues uh, the reach for the top event with the voucher a's you can exchange I think up to three uh, five-star power-ups, which I've already exchanged. They're, they take a while to grind. I'd say, you know, a good hour or two should get you uh, at least two or even three uh, of, of those power-ups, just depending on how fast you farm them, I guess. And those power-ups can be used to increase potential for your sync pairs. So, these are, the, and the thing with these 5 star power ups is these are limited to a certain amount of days. There's only 49 days left on these, so if you don't use them before, you know, 49 days, uh, I guess they would just be unusable or they'll disappear or whatever. I'm not sure exactly what happens to them, but I'd assume something along those lines. So I guess you guys, you know, better use these. Uh, well, we still can. So anyways, let's talk about which five stars we should probably use them on. So let me sort this thing by, um, is, is there stars? Oh, number of stars. There we go. That's going to make it easier, make my life easier. So um, I actually do have all the five stars in the game uh, right now at the moment. So we'll we'll go over them. I've had some you know, a decent amount of experience with, with, with a lot of these. So... The number one option uh, I'd, I'd use my um, potentials on would be Lycanroc. Uh, here's the reason. Lycanroc, Olivia and Ly Lycanroc, they are extremely powerful. <laughs> They're probably the most powerful sync pair in the game at the moment, especially for end game content for co-op. And the reason why I'd, I'd give priority to Olivia and Lycanroc over, say, like, Brandon, uh, which kind of does similar things, I guess, except that one's grass type. It's just because Olivia is used in much more content, much more stages than Brandon is. Like, you got the Skyle event, uh, folks can do Rosa, he acts very hard with uh, Olivia as well. I've seen someone on Reddit do very hard Erica with Olivia. Like, Olivia could do, like, almost everything. <laughs> and then, you also got these event quests, Blue, with Mega Pidgeot, if you're still in, in, in the process of farming for that, if you're not done farming with that, Olivia obliterates that event. The new Blaine Rock training event, the co-op, Olivia obliterates that as well, the single player one even, like, even in single player, Olivia is obviously great as well, uh, but, you know, she just obliterates almost every end game co-op content um the other one the 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 uh the the, the, the viola and and bugsy uh, main story co-op event where you could farm up uh gym leader notes that olivia obliterates that event as well so olivia would be my um top choice to use these uh these these um five star power-ups at the moment so um yeah I, I you know what i'm i'm gonna use it right here um i oh i mean i i use my power ups on on olivia so uh there's that but if you don't have olivia there there are some other great options uh the next best option i would say would be brandon and and phoebe honestly just just because you know brandon is so reliable and in, uh, in end game co op content, in comparison to say Karen or Blue, even though Blue, you could use Blue in the EX Very Hard Rosa event, right? But you know, it's just much more harder. Like, it, it, it Blue isn't as flexible as Brandon. Uh, Brandon 
even though you're mainly using him for the EX Very Hard Brock event. But you know, there are some other situations where you could put him in as like a backup attacker or whatever in comparison to Mega Pidgeot, even though, you know, Mega Pidgeot could be used that way as well, sort of, but it's just harder to pull off. You have to like time it exactly so that, you know, when Mega or, or when Blue slash Pidgeot comes out, um, you don't have too much room uh, or, or, or you don't need to, uh, to use too many moves before you sync. You know, if you have like a one turn delay on the sync, that's fine. You can use a smell later and then uh, sync to Mega Pidgeot. Or else, uh, yeah, Brendan would be the better choice in this uh, scenario. Another really, really good one would be Phoebe. Uh, here's the thing about Phoebe though. Phoebe is a support. Even though there are some stages where you could actually use Phoebe for damage, Shadow Punch in the Skyla event, right? Shadow Punch all the Haunters. So even as a support, like you're increasing Phoebe's uh, tank overall tankiness as well. So, uh, you know, Phoebe's not just a support, she's also, she also tanks. So uh, Phoebe would also be a great uh, option to, to increase your potential with, right? So... Um, you know, when you increase her potential, you take more hits, right? And it's, it's, I guess, it's be I, mean, I guess the only drawback would be, like, if you have, like, too much HP remaining, or, you know, too much defenses, I guess your, um, um, uh, Phoebe's, oops, did I just accidentally click, oh, um, I guess Phoebe's buff won't be as, won't come, like, it's, there, there's some complicated calculations with, with the, um, with Phoebe's buff, right? Um, she, you need her to be at low HP to give the most buffs, even though it's it's a range. So you kind of want to get into that range. So there's that slight, um, you know, drawback for buffing Phoebe. But overall, buffing Phoebe isn't a bad choice at all. Like e even even if you're not doing it for the tankiness uh, or the damage, you could you know you could still do it for the speeds, you know. You, Olivia, or not Olivia, Phoebe, you do, in a lot of case scenarios, you do want a double edge, and so you could pass pass off your um, your buffs and stuff, right? So that's another great option. Uh, Phoebe's another great option. After that, I'd say uh, probably Blue or Rosa would be my next option. Oh, you know what, Chris? We could, you could do Chris as well. Um, I'm, honestly, I'm, I just haven't been too impressed with Chris. Uh, even though, you know, she's still a total, but you know, even on paper, her stats and moveset, like, she has okay -ish stats, right? Um, you know, it's, it's not, she doesn't have terrible stats, but it's just, she's terribly inconsistent, especially with, with Mega Kick. Like, you have, sure, you have two guaranteed, uh, Mega Kick, uh, Kicks, which are also guaranteed crits, and you also have Stab on it. So, when you get those two off, it's a lot of damage, but first, you have to use that extra move. And second, after you, you're done using those, you'll just have to pray pray to Iron Jesus that you land your Mega Kicks, which are, what, 70% accuracy or something? So, Chris is kind of inconsistent, but you do need Chris uh, for the most part. Well, at least one person needs Chris for the EX Very Hard Brock. So, Chris, I guess, is another option. Uh, Blue, of course, is a, a another option, a, a step down from, from all the other folks, right? Um, the thing about blue is megas just don't really work too well in co-op and before blue megas, dude's kind of a potato, right? Um, doesn't do too much damage in comparison and, you know, just doesn't have too much else to offer, so, uh, blue, blue's great in single player though, you know, if you, if there's any single player content that you really have trouble with, like the superpower training courses, even though Olivia would, Olivia, Brandon, they would do fine in those as well, but, you know, if you don't have them and you only have blue then you know blue is not a terrible option either and then you also have rosa rosa is the same thing with phoebe without the drawbacks i guess you know just overall more bulkiness more speed and that that's always great for for rosa right uh rosa still even though free to play is still a top tier unit in this game so not a bad choice either and then we're moving down to like the next tier of folks that you probably want to buff. I mean, the next tier is only one, honestly. It's Karen. Um, Karen's not that far off from Blue, honestly. It's just that it, it, Karen really lacks any end game content that she could actually deal with at the moment. There's not, there really isn't any end game content. There's, you know, not too many co op missions right now that really require Karen. I mean, there for sure will be some kind of, you know, uh, co-op 
in the future that would, you know, use Karen that's weak to dark or whatever, or, or you know, that Houndoom slash Mega Houndoom would come in handy. But at the moment, it's just, y you, you don't have that. And remember, these, these are only temporary uh, pot potential boosts, right? They expire in, what, 40, 49 days, so... I, if you have any of the other ones above, I probably won't invest in the Karen. And look, I love Karen. <laughs> I'm a huge, um, you know, uh, Karen fan, but mm, yeah, probably not the best investment at the moment. And then you got your lower, lowest tier folks, which would be Acerola and Charon, which I, I just wouldn't uh, con even consider investing into. Acerola is a potato. And then uh, Charon's just, you know. I mean, it's a support, but like, it's it's a super, super situational and niche support of all these supports, so I really want to invest in Charon as well. I just, if you really don't have a single Gasha 5-star, I just throw it into Rosa instead, honestly. So, yeah, um, that's me for this one, just going over all these, uh, you know, 5-stars and which which uh, you, you sync pairs you probably should invest all those free uh, five star potential boosts and and uh, yeah um too bad honestly um it's, it's kind of sad that we didn't get any other potential boosts from the rock type training event that we you know got from the the blue story event i was hoping for like a few four star boosts or maybe even three star i would take three star boosts could uh, cuz you know there there's a lot of great you know f uh, four stars and three stars that, that I'd like to boost, honestly, like for three stars, um, I, 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 I would totally boost um, Roxanne here, right? Roxanne's a great option. Uh, Liza as well. Uh, Barry's not terrible. Um, you know, there's a few options there. Arcanine's fine. Swana, Swana's great. And then uh, obviously there's there's a few four star options that I to that I would totally boost as well. Um, Koga, I, I might boost Koga if we had, you know, free four-star potential boost. Although I personally don't have too many great uh, four-stars. Um, but yeah, Koga would be one. Anyone else? A uh, Claire, Claire, I would to I would totally boost, boost Claire if I had uh, four, four stars just just for the um, the EX Rose event. So yeah, again, that's me for this one. Some five-star stuff, and um, also uh, before we get out here, I do not want to buy gems. Uh, let's do another Sync Pier Scout since, you know, apparently there's two banners up and you could do two daily discounts, which I'll go ahead and do. I think that's my, like, my second last daily discount uh, for the moment being, before I run out of paid gems. And let's see if we get anything good in here. I would like a will. <laughs> a will would be really nice. Or any non-Phoebe five stars. I, I'd take whoever. <laughs> But, you know, we're, it looks like we're not going to get anything too special. Uh, no, no, I'm, I like, I like her a lot. <laughs> so there's that. And we're four out of five there, so we're also close to getting three star potential boosts with her as well. So, you know, I'll take that. But anyways, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel for more Puma Masters content. Uh, let me know what you guys use your potential boosts on in the comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.